What's up everybody? Josh with Start a Rain Gutter Business. Today we're going to show you our Ram Promaster van, ready for gutters. Uh, it's a 2017 Ram Pro Master, has a 5 inch KWM gutter man machine in it and um, it's been working pretty good for us. It's a little bit, I mean we've been using it for a couple years now, it's a little bit beat up but I just got back from a job and so we kind of wanted to show you guys how everything fits in there and even though it's not the cleanest setup right now, I just wanted to show you how it looks day to day. So let's get into it. So anyways, quick little walkthrough. Um, this is just the standard five inch K style machine. Uh, they're eight feet long and this is a 12 foot bed so it fits pretty nice in here. You have about four feet of extra room um, on the front end there. I got this thing mounted as close to the door as I could just so it's nice and easy to work with. Um, it has a guillotine on it. It'd, pretty, it'd be pretty tough to have enough room if you wanted to mount a chop saw on this in a van. It's, I mean the way I kind of look at this is it's a simple efficient setup. So that's kind of how I look at the whole set up in here so and we'll kind of go into how I have everything kind of tried to simplify everything and make everything have a couple different purposes so we have a downspout rack up here I honestly kind of built this as temporary just to mock it up and it's been working awesome <laughs> so I don't know how it hasn't broke yet but I literally just tack welded it together and it's been working great so it's been yeah two years now so Anyways, if it's a lot of downspouts, we jam everything in there. Um, we'll put in a clip for you guys to show you one of the downfalls of the van. We had a bunch of removal and disposal. It actually wasn't that much, but it looked like a lot because it was in a van. So we had that over here. I try to keep that as far away from the machine as possible. And normally I try not to do that. Um, we have a dump trailer that we try to get it in, but this job was a ways away. And it just didn't make sense to have to get the dump trailer there and the van there. It just made more sense to have the van bring it back with them. So uh, usually we keep our you know stands up here in the front. I don't have that great of a designated spot for those. It be, might be nice to put some eye hooks on the um, one of these support beams on the side here or something for those. Uh, glue also goes over here. We got hangers. Our cord. I usually just store that in the hanger box. We got some end caps, work radio, um, just kind of accessory boxes I usually put right on top of the machine. And then there's also some room on the side of the machine where the wheel well sticks out that we, you know, throw some small boxes in, like an extra glue box or an extra, you know, end cap or corner uh, strip miter box. So um, I also got a piece of plywood and kind of framed that in. I mounted some of those. Uh, Milwaukee pack out boxes on. Super nice to be able to just pop those off and on and they, they're on the wall so you're not kicking them around all the time. And it's nice to be able to have those, have like a dedicated spot for those. So we've got some ladder racks up here like the ladder stabilizers. Um, we use the, what are they called? Ladder Max. And I get them through uh, Ray, Raytech from the same as the hanger supplier. So those are Fairly cheap, they're like 80 bucks I think, and they work really good. Best ladder stabilizer I've used. Um, this span, like I said, is a 12 foot box, so you can fit, we have two 24 foot ladders up in the roof. And so we slide them up above the, the doors up there, there's kind of a cubby, and then just bungee them up to the back here. And that seems to be working pretty good. I had a bar, kind of a rack deal in there originally. And, it, it was just kind of tough to finagle to make that work. So we ended up tearing it out and we just use bungees. Slide them in, bungee the back, good to go. Uh, we'll kind of move around to the front now and show you guys how what the kind of the front setup looks like. Okay, so up front in the van here. Uh, one thing I've thought about is putting one of those, they make like a partition wall in here. 
Um, that would probably be nice to have a little more separate separation between the two. Uh, here in Montana, it does get colder in the winter. And so probably the main purpose of it would be to keep heat in the cab a little better because right now the heater doesn't really keep up with an ice cold gutter machine and all your coils and all that stuff. It takes a long time to warm up in here. So that, that's one issue with the vans. Um, up in this top rack, I just kind of keep some odds and ends. We got some T wedges up here, a couple tools, uh, downspout hinges. We use um, a zip hinge is what it's called. As far as feeding the machine goes, we have a coil roller in here that's just uh, screwed to the floor. That works really good. It, the coil, it actually doesn't need a brake because the coil is like up against the seat kind of. So it stops itself from rolling out. And I've had a lot less issues with the coil unspooling itself when the coil is down, like the roller thing is down on the ground feeding the machine that way. It, I think it's just because there's a little more stuff around it and the way it's feeding in, the coil doesn't want to unwind as easily. So that's one benefit to doing it that way. And then um, we have a drill rack up here. That's pretty nice. Just, you can keep your, you know, I keep an impact in here and a drill. So you're ready to go with both of those. We got a toolbox on top of the gutter machine. Um, this is another good one. They, they have a lot of holes and like mounting spots for stuff in the ProMaster. So like these ladders, we just bungee them to the wall. Kind of keeps the noise down a little bit in here. That's another thing with vans. Uh, when you're driving down the road, everything back here is rattling. So they're, they're a lot noisier inside than, than a truck and trailer. So one downfall of them. Um, so one more thing about the extension ladders. Um, we have two 24 footers in there and they fit good in there. They're easy to pop in and out. We also got a ladder rack for the top. So anything bigger than 24 foot, I'll throw up there and you can throw, you can put like 40 footers up there if you want. Not most people don't like the 40 foot ladders, but <laughs> they'll fit up there. So other than that, um, these, this has been a great van. It's been low maintenance. Uh, we've probably got, uh, 60,000 miles on it in the last couple years and you know it's cheap to maintain cheap to register cheap to insure cheap to uh, tires um, we have a separate set of winter and summer tires for it and it, it you know it doesn't wear them out fast or anything compared to a truck and trailer uh, I mean it's just a really efficient setup to drive around and put up some rain gutters so thanks for watching you guys uh, make sure I'm subscribed, comment below, I'd like to hear your guys' ideas, like our video. See you on the next one. Yeah, so, I mean, that pretty much covers everything. Good cut.